and welcome back and today I want to talk to you guys about how to access the unofficial app store on your QNAP NAS. Today I'm utilizing a QNAP Mir, the TS251B and although there are loads of applications readily available on the QNAP App Center, there are still more applications available on unofficial app stores. Now it should be mentioned there's a couple of things I want to highlight very early on in this video before we go any further. First and foremost, this NAS that I'm using, the TS251B, I'm actually getting ready to use this for another video. And I'm currently installing a whole host of applications. The reason for this being is because a number of these applications are new to the platform and I want to show you guys about their highlights and their lowlights. The result, of course, is that memory utilization is going to be quite high. This isn't indicative of the platform in of itself, but largely because, as you can see from that timeline, I've done a lot of application installations and activities on this device. So don't worry too much about the memory consumption during this video. This is not representative of average use of this NAS or this software. The next thing I want to highlight is the idea that the applications I'm using today are unofficial. That means that these are not applications that QNAP officially endorse on their platform. So please, please be careful with these apps and make sure you have a bunch of backups in place before attempting to install any of these apps. Now, some of the applications we're going to talk about today are apps that QNAP used to have and they've since removed for a myriad of reasons. Others are applications that are homebrew that have been built by others in the background for facilitating more access and collaboration with your data. So, on the app center of your QNAP NAS, once you've got the whole thing set up and your directories and more, you may notice there are loads of apps. You can always tell an official first party application because it's got that queue in the corner, as well as a bunch of other applications from partners, as well as recommended apps. But what we want to do is head up here to this cog. Now this cog here, allows us to activate the ability to install non-official apps that are apps that do not have a valid digital signature and a tr or are a trusted QNAP partner. Click apply here and then go to app repository. Now this app repository, we click add and the URL we want to add is this one. The QNAP club eu slash en slash repo dot xml. We're going to call this one QNAP Club and we don't have to enter user information because this app center is open. We click add and then from there we can click close and it will add this new app center right here. Now in the background it is now going to check the apps that are currently available on that app center. If we click refresh it will then access that database of applications and now we have a whole host of new apps for our QNAP NAS, ranging from the Amazon application to Netflix to Kodi and more. There are a whole bunch of applications here that allow us to do even more with our NAS, as well as access other third-party platforms. Now, alongside gaming applications, networking applications, data migration and emulator applications, there are all, a whole host of more and a number of you will want to scroll to the bottom of the list to get some of the juicier applications too. And of course on the left hand side they've even created a subcategory and a cataloging list that allow us to change different apps and of course some of these applications because they are PC and Linux based will require a user interface. And given that we tested some of these on our Christmas videos and our um, Span Christmas Challenge, you'll be unsurprised to know that they've even beefed up the games that are readily available for your QNAP NAS too. So I, I recommend you check them out. But once again, always make sure that you've been backed up your data to the highest degree because again, this is an unofficial application. And I won't lie, this wine app could be quite interesting. But we'll give that a look. Unfortunately, it's not actual booze. What a shame. But I'll see you guys on the next video. Click like and subscribe to learn more. And I'll see you next time.